we're restoring this old diving board. It's 10 feet long, and I'm not really sure how old it is, but the pool that it's going on to is a 1960 pool. So we found this old diving board made out of aluminum, and we're going to restore it, and it's gonna look beautiful. So what we're doing right now is uh, sanding all these giant dings out and cuts out. And I know there's people who say you can't sand aluminum, that's BS. I was a machinist for years. We machined, drilled, sanded, you name it. You could do it to aluminum. However, there is many multiple steps. The sanding, various grits, getting higher, 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 moving on to the buffing. But right now, we're just going to concentrate on removing a lot of these cuts right here. They're pretty deep. And we're probably, we might even have to break up the belt sander, hit some of these. And then, uh, anyways, that's what we're doing. So I'm gonna start sanding and then we'll just keep showing what's going on. Well, after hitting it with the sandpaper, we did a lot of grits. We went uh, 80 grit, 120, 220, 320. Then I jumped up to 600, 1,000, 2,500, and 3,000. And now we're done with that and we're just starting to do the polishing. So what I'm doing here is I'm just putting some polish and I'm gonna buff it, but it's gonna turn out really nice. It, uh, Let's see what happens. Rubbing in the compound, polishing compound. So the edges, the side, the top, the sides, the front side, everything is gonna be polished, highly polished, but the top, is going to be painted with the tintable raptor shield uh, paint system for truck beds but we're doing gonna do a turquoise like a light blue top this is 10 feet long we don't want it to be hot in the sun we don't want people slipping on it because it's a diving board so we're going to put the the grit down it's going to be really cool so right now i'm just putting the rest of the polish on i'm gonna start buffing it and i'll show you how it turns out Okay, I have it about as polished as I think I'm going to get it. And it's actually good enough for what I'm doing. It's beautiful. I could see my reflection in it. Um, you know, it's not perfect, but that's fine. It's an old 1960 diving board. And we just wanted to make it really shiny. So, uh, like I said, I used the first thing I did was I sanded everything down with various grits and then I got into um, rouges uh, cutting rouges there's a red one and then a blue one and then the white one is actually for buffing for aluminum so I just have some attachments on my drill uh, little buffing things are black now from all the taking all the film off of the uh, chrome polish but anyway or the aluminum polish but anyways I'm pretty satisfied with it so I'm gonna go ahead and start taping it all off for the top that we're gonna paint
Okay, I sprayed, I sprayed the whole thing down with several coats and it looks really well. I know this is, uh, the sun isn't shining on it so it's kind of hard to see what it looks like but when it's, once it's dry, I'm gonna put it out in the sun. It's like a very, very light sky blue. Okay, well here's the diving board. It's all finished and attached to the pool. I had to fabricate these stands out of uh, inch and seven eighths steel and then I had them nickel plated because I wanted them to match a stainless steel um, ladder over there. So, and I just got to cut those stainless bolts off, they're kind of long. But anyways, I'm pretty darn happy how it turned out. And uh, this is really, you know, when you're running on a diving board, you don't want to slip. So I, I really like that stuff. We'll see how it is. But I used the board earlier and it was pretty darn fun. So I just want to show everybody how it, how it looks all attached. All right, take care. Vlog over.